welcome 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 i'm back and i think i just figured it out when i was like check one check two i think it's the and effect right right maybe maybe all right i'm gonna throw some lesson cards all right i'm gonna do every zodiac um and that's that okay i'm gonna work with this energy i'm gonna work with the energy I heard it through the grapevine. Maybe you're going to hear something. Maybe you're going to hear something. Can we play? Okay. All right. My hair is so frizzy. I got no product in it. No product. Let me throw this, this bad boy up. Let me throw it up. Throw it up. Oh, I got... Hair and fuzz coming out of my hair. Hair and fuzz coming out of my big, uh, my big do. I got so much hair. All right. Mm, I heard it through the grapevine. I'm your grapevine. Mm, mm. All right. I'm not cleansing in between, so spirit knows that. Okay, so let's start with um, let's start with Aries because I'm gonna go by houses because it's easier for me to know to go by the wheel. That's that. I feel like a mom. I feel like a mom, like a librarian. I'm like so like such a ma. But I like being ma. I like it. I like it. All right, chomping, chomping, which reminds me, I used to have a bunny named Chompa. That thing chomped through a lot of stuff. I feel like this is too loud. All right. Aries. Let's see what we're going through for my Ramses. My Ramskis. Discipline. All right. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. All right. So you need to discipline yourself right now with this energy. Okay. Um, it's like, all right, telling a fire sign to be disciplined. <laughs> I know better, right? It's like, you can be though. You are a cardinal sign, so like you can be. So I need you to be disciplined. All right. Um, what do you need to be disciplined with? Let's find out. All right. I mean, I am a love channel, but let me break it down. Let me break it down. What do my Ramskis need to be disciplined with? Basically, I need you to set your mind to something and stick to it. Okay. Um, practice self discipline. Okay. Accomplish what it is you seek. All right, so when it comes to security and contracts, okay, um, stay disciplined, um, stay in control of of you, okay? Um, that That's what it's telling me. Set your mind to something, pick a goal, and stick with it, all right? It's all about self-control and self-security, okay? If you want to reach that in your life, it's going to take discipline, okay? So with the energy for the next few weeks, stay in control. Well, that should be easy for you. You're the emperor. So maybe some of you guys are out of control right now, all right, and you're not in your element. So they're saying snap into it. Snap into your element. Okay? All righty then. Let's do my Tauruses. Let's do my little Tauridians. That's my lessons for my Tauridians. Whoa. Freedom and happiness. It's so funny because those came out with um my Taurus energy. No, that was Scorpion Moon energy. All right, but it is Taurus energy. Okay, so have the power within to create your own happiness. Okay. Um, we are working with a Taurus sun right now, and I did just 
do a video that I kind of broke that down a little bit, but you create your own happiness. Nobody else, okay? So if you're working with lower energy right now, then you need to find a way to snap out of that. You have to, all right? Because your next card is happiness. This card is freedom. It, it opposes the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And then you have happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Okay, that should be for any energy, which makes sense because the sun is in Taurus. So work with that freaking energy right now. Find your happiness. Seek your happiness. I don't even need to clarify those for real because they're both saying the same thing. You want freedom? You want freedom? Find your happy. Your happy will lead you towards freedom. Okay. If you're struggling with it, then any advice for if they're struggling on how to find their happy? Um, that's way too many. There's five there. Um, I, I feel like you're repeating the same cycle and it's being brought to your attention. And you're like, damn it. I, if I want to be happy, I need to change things. And it's true. It's, it's very, very true. All right. Um, Try to take on, it's the hangman, all right? It's because you're not happy, all right? Be patient with yourself right now, my little toadians. Um, and it is working with scorpion energy, too. The universe hung you up because you weren't happy. So don't you dare say that you were. Okay, so my advice to you would be change your perspective and have patience on yourself, okay? It, it requires patience, but if you want to feel that freedom, it will come after you find you're happy, okay? Alrighty, um, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What's going on with my jummies? What's going on with my gummy bears? My gummy bears? My gummy bears? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Jeez, Louise, my little gummies. Come on. You're always up to something. Always up to something. Hi, Kai. Hi, Papa. What's up with my gummy bears? My gummy bears. Oh, man. You guys are going through a lot. Death. I am learning that endings are nearly beginnings. This, this Taurus and Scorpion energy is really messing with my gummy bears right now. Okay. Um, uh, you're right in Scorpio energy. Um, And my best advice I can give you is to ground yourselves. Go go outside five minutes a day, every day for the next week, okay? Talk to spirit, talk to your angels, fresh air, go barefoot, um, take a bath, put some salt in it, um, find ways to, to ground yourself because this energy is, is affecting you a lot, all right? Um, it's it's affecting your perspective your perspective all right um it's self empowerment and it's the nine of feathers all right so it's 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 the nine of swords guys so you feel trapped all right you have anxiety you're not you're not um you're not working with that energy my little gummy bears this is this is going to be hard energy on you um uh, so, on that note, I need to write myself a note because that means my Zodiac, my gummies, are struggling. All right. Um, I will tell you right now for my little, my jemmies, I, I want you, if you have not watched the Scorpio video, the Scorpio energy, um, please do. Okay? Um...
please watch the Scorpio video. This is going to explain a lot, okay? You you definitely feel trapped. You have anxiety. You can't sleep. You're not eating. You're, you're off track. You're, you're not motivated to push through this energy. And you need to you need to understand that endings that are just new beginnings. I know my gummy bears have been going through a lot. So I need you to accept this new beginning. I need you to accept what this is, okay? Because it's, this is a divine putting you on the right path, okay? Accept Accept what's happening, okay? Only you can get yourself out of the Nine of Swords. This is all mental. The universe has said, uh-uh, nope, you're done. You're done putting yourself in scenarios that are no good for you, okay? All done with that. All done. Wake up, Paul, for my gummy bears, all right? You can do it. Take care of you and ground yourself um if you know how to clean your chakras clean your chakras if you know how to stage your home stage your home stage your space ground yourselves okay super important i mean it what's going on with my <sighs> cancers what's going on my cancerians my cancerians my cancerians um what was it with you guys taken back that uh no you had the power it was more like the strength to endure what it is that you're going through i believe that's what it was because some i just did a reading yesterday and he was a cancerian and anywho that's what the universe tell me what's going on my cancerians right now Oh, they're thinking too. What are you guys dealing with the Jimmy? Indecision. That's too many. Um I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. So yeah, yeah, they're saying, please use your intuition. You are a water sign. You are a very powerful, intuitive person, all right? But you're being very indecisive when it comes to things right now. So if your intuition has been telling you for a very long time, okay, don't, do not doubt your intuition. Um, and with being indecis indecisive, you are doubting your intuition. So... Um, be honest with yourselves, my little Cancerians. Please be honest with yourselves. Any advice? Yep, it's a challenge. It is growth, okay? Um, it is union, all right? It's the same thing. It was a, a challenge to get to this union, but there's been a lot of growth, and now you're just like, do I do this? Do I make this decision? Do I not make this decision? You want to know what's stopping you? Fear, and the universe is yelling at you, saying, wake up. Wake up and do not let fear overtake this because I think you think that this has been a challenge, okay? And yeah, has it been a challenge for you? Yeah, probably. Yeah, actually, it has been. And um, the universe is saying, like, listen, don't be indecisive when it comes to this decision with your twin or your soulmate or your life partner. Do you understand me? Because this is real, okay? So there's that. There's that, okay? Leos, let's do my lions. Let's do my lion. My cat's down here. I keep staring. What's going on with my lions? Okay. Honesty. All right, I got the goosebumps the minute it fell, so I knew not to even take that away. All right, be honest. All right, you can't always expect the truth of others, but you can expect the truth from yourself. So you're dealing with with people that are honest right now and people that are, are not honest right now, and that's up to you whether or not you can differentiate which ones are being honest and truthful or not. But for me, it's you. It's self honesty. Be true. Be true to yourself. Do you understand me? 
the Knight of Crystals, all right? So be determined, all right? It's funny because I just did a twin video where it was the man of Chris. It was the man. It was the um the the king of air, the <laughs> king of swords, all right? And it is all about determination and endurance, all right? And I was saying that it, a lot of it did boil down to honesty. This person was coming in with emotion and being honest. So you might have Leo in your chat, okay? Um, and I will tell you that you might be dealing with a twin, or I guarantee you are, but I, I'm talking you're, you're a camel, okay? So... You're a freaking seahorse in, in the sea and on land. You're a camel, all right? But be honest with yourself. It doesn't matter how long it took you to get here. The point is you're determined to come in now and share emotion. So if you're going to share your emotion, please be very honest with yourself and with this person. I know, Kai. That was the first time you agreed with me. All right, my little brother. All right, my little Virgos, what's going on? My Virgos, my Virgos, my Virgos, sipping on Merlots. Friendship, here's the deal. You're not recognizing that there's somebody in your life for a reason right now. You're in denial. This is a denial card for me. All right, um, there is somebody in your life, and you need to understand that this person is in your life to teach you something. And this isn't like a harsh lesson and they're going to bounce from your life. That's not what this means. This just means like this person is here to say this is a special, special friendship. This is somebody who's in your life for... A divine reason okay so change your perspective and look at it that way please okay why is this person here why all of a sudden is this person just an awesome person okay king of acorn optimism um to me this is optimism it, it's a it's it's a horse and um You're, you're trying to be optimistic. Um, you're about to see why. I don't know why it took so long, but you're about to... You're about to really, like... It's about to be real, real. <laughs> That's what this is. This is, like, realism right here. All right, um... So remain optimistic, okay? That's the best I can give you for that, all right? Because it's not a bad thing that, um, dang it, I keep dropping this stuff. It's not a bad thing that um, this person is in your life. Do you understand me? I just did the Virgos. Libras. What's going on, my Libras? My little librarians, all right? What's going on, my Libra? My Libras, my Libras. I'm not taking it, there's too many, but it's happiness, forgiveness, and grief, all right? So. Forgiveness came out again, okay? Um, I knew I felt it. I could feel it. Um, you're harboring things, okay? And it, it's blocking, it's blocking love, okay? Um, maybe you're being a little too logical because you're trying to balance out the scales, but you, you're not, you're not seeing something or you're not forgiving and you're harboring. And I will tell you, you're probably harboring past pain, past incidents, past things that have happened in the past that have, that have held you back and are continuously holding you back. So please rip off that band-aid and forgive, okay? Forgive yourself if you did wrong. Forgive somebody else if they did wrong, okay? It's blocking the flow of happiness, the flow of love, of love and life and most importantly, love. Okay. So it's the night of acorns, all right? It's 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 perseverance and it's it's feeling powerful. So in order for you to achieve this, you need to find self confidence and self power. Okay. You need to persevere through this icky, icky energy that you're feeling. Okay. Um there's no question that self-empowerment is key here to get through 
what it is you've been harboring. Ugh, I can feel it. Um, if you want to be happy again, you need to forgive. Okay. Scorpios, my Scorpios. I just saw Scorpios. Oh, happiness. All right. We have in, indecisions. All right. So find you happy, which makes sense because it's all, it's rebirth. Okay. So you weren't happy. Um, a lot of you probably were not happy and the universe, like in that other video held you up. Okay. And it, it does boil down to choices. You, it's, it's up to you whether or not you choose to be happy. Okay. So you want your happy back? <laughs> Go get it. All right. Don't you're, you're a water sign too, so use your freaking intuition, all right, in all aspects of your life. This is you overthinking. This is you wanting something and knowing what's right, but now all of a sudden it might be in front of you and you're like, damn, like you're not using your intuition. You're, you're using your, your, your logic, and sometimes you can't use logic when it comes to happiness. you got to go with your gut sometimes, ladies and gents. Um, the tower. You need to accept this change, okay? Um, but just release it. Release, release what it is, okay, so you can move forward, my little scorpions, okay? Um, release... <laughs> It is. It's it's releasing the old to 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 get to the new. Thank you, Kai. Um, release, release, release. Okay. Because you're having a revolution. You that's what's happening right now, and um, that's why you're second guessing yourself. So don't don't you dare second guess your happiness, especially if you know what makes you happy. Happy, happy, happy. My cat's like making some weird noise. It's like, what are you agreeing right now? Are you agreeing? Let's go on the Sagittarius. This is my religion. Love is my religion. Go after love, all of you. My Sagittarius are feeling lonely. Okay, I, you because you feel like the you don't got love. That's what that is, and it's like you're never alone, guys, ever. Okay, please understand that you may feel that way, but that's you feeling that way. That's you choosing to be in that energy, and once you come out of that energy, you will realize that you were in that energy because you put yourself in that energy. Um, you don't. It sucks when people feel lonely, guys. I get it. But, like, if you feel lonely, you're not happy. Okay? Like, happy is the number one tool for success in life. Okay? So, you, any advice to get them out of this loneliness? What's going to help my little Saggies right now? <clears throat> You are never, ever alone. Do you understand me? Never. You choose to be alone. And that might be a harsh reality to look at it like that, but it's the God honest truth. Well, this just switched up real quick. Here's the deal. All right, so you're not normally lonely. X everything out I just said. Well, some of you, no, but a majority of you, yeah. You're lonely right now because you're in hermit mode. But you've been depressed, so... Don't X out what I just said. <laughs> it's, we got two different stories here. All right. So it's contemplation. It's wisdom. It's 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 knowing you have that. It's knowing that um, it's knowing what you can have. Some of you are enjoying. No, you're not enjoying loneliness. But like you got stuck in that energy. Okay. You go into hermit energy to contemplate, and you physically, because your energy didn't shift, you got stuck in hermit mode, okay? You got stuck, lower energies and depression, okay, which which made you lonely, all right? So 
you gotta find your happy. All right, you're not. They didn't. They didn't stick you here in hermit mode for you to stay in hermit mode. It. it, it they stuck you there so you got divine knowledge out of it and 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 wisdom and they want you to they wanted you to contemplate certain things they didn't want you to stay in hermit mode they didn't want you to feel like this they and now it led to loneliness because you didn't have the strength to get yourself out of the the lower energy okay so please all of my zodiacs right now take this energy right now of the scorpion moon and and get yourself out of it okay Cappies. Grief. I understand that losing somebody, losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So some of you lost love. You lost a job. You lost, you lost something near and dear. And if you want to go after it and get it back, you, you fight and you go. You go after it and you get it back. Do you understand me, my little cappies? But please don't sit in sorrow, all right? Please, please don't. Um... It was a lesson, all right, but it was also an opportunity for growth. It was an opportunity for you to realize something near and dear is now gone. And if it's near and dear, you go fix that and you go mend it. Do you understand me? If it can't be mended, then you take that lesson. As harsh as it was, and you go and you start your life again. Do not stay in grief. Any advice for my cappies? You find yourself love again. And you appreciate. You do understand me. The night of shells. Yeah, go find your passion. Go use your charm. <laughs> go use your charm to find your passion in life again. Okay? Persevere. You have the power. The universe is telling you, you have the power to to persevere. All right. You will get through this grief. Do you understand me? They're staring right at you and saying, okay, you lost something that was very near and dear. But if you can salvage it, I suggest you salvage it. Okay. Because it is, it is an opportunity for you to appreciate things in your life more. Okay. There was a reason why they broke it down that way. Um, I know it was a very harsh, this one's harsh when it comes out, my little caps, but I, I do know, and I hope you know and understand that losing what it is you lost was only an opportunity for you to appreciate that, that scenario or something new. Okay. Like you won't make this mistake again. I guarantee it. Not when that one comes out, okay? So don't don't sit in that saddle too long, my little cappies. Um, please don't. What's going on, my aquas? My aqua babies, my little Aquariuses. What's going on, my aquas? Indecisions too. Didn't cancer just have that? You guys are marrying each other. Um, you're not using your intuition either. You're using your logic too much. You guys are using too much of your logic sometimes. All right. Um, sometimes it's not good to, that's when people overthink and that's when they get stuck in, in mental scenarios. That's when people get stuck in lower energies. Um, any advice for my aqua is to get out of this indecision mix. Holy shit. Unless you're an aqua that's got cancer in them, but. You're being very, 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 very indecisive. All right. So the, it's the King of Cups, too. It's you're being indecisive because, well, I don't know if you, you just don't want to collaborate with somebody, if you don't want to be if you think it's too much work, I think you think this relationship, you have passion for something right now. And I think you feel like it's too much work. 
So that's lack of effort. And I'm not happy about that. All right. Um, use your freaking intuition and go after what it is that you've been seeking. You've been collaborating on it in the background. All right. So go put work into it. Go put your back into it. All right. You can do it. Put your back into it. I ain't kidding because I'm, I'm staring at your back right now. All right. It can be very, very, very successful. It's the three of, it's the three of crystals, guys. Well, it's the pence. It can be very successful. I mean, you've got the Knight of Cups with the Three of Pence, but it's like, hey, I'm going to sit here and, and and not use my intuition and overthink shit. And guess where that's going to lead you? Some icky-ass energy. So don't don't you dare. Don't you dare, my little aquas. Um, sorry. All right. My fishies, my little Piscerians. Enough of that. All right, what's up with my little fishies? My little Piscerians right now. What's up with my Pisces? What is up with my Pisces? I kind of feel like you guys are in La La Land right now. Where are you? I feel lost with you guys right now. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Damn, you guys actually got a lot going on. Oh, you're the one that's... Okay. You you have the inner knowing, my little Piscerians. All right. You're letting pride get in the way. All right. You're letting your ego... <sighs> it's like, first of all, self-worth, self-love, please. Um... And trust, all right. You need to accept that your inner voice will always guide you the right way. If you're if you're hearing the divine talk to you, you need to trust that they're giving you the right messages. All right. Do not let pride or ego get in the way of this transition. Do you understand me? This is a huge, huge message. Wow. Huge, huge, the Ace of Acorn, all right, this is a brand new, a brand new stat, this is confidence and force, it's a creative force too, so it's like, go after what it is that you know you got to go after. And I said that in the video too. It's like, you know, you know, you have the inner knowing and you're not doing it. You're being divinely guided. And some of you are hearing the divine because it says, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Some of you are hearing the divine talk to you. They're telling you to have the confidence to have this brand new stat, but your ego is getting in the way a little bit. You're too... You're too into yourself. What are you, a freaking surgeon? What are you? You the king of, like, who are you? All right? And I say surgeons because they're protected right now. That's not, it's, I just read something on it a while back. And not to mention there was a bridge in the city that they stopped work on construction a few years ago because a surgeon was uh, giving birth. So it's, it's so it's like, that's why I think, like, who who do you think you are? You know what I mean? Like, you, you think you're wearing that king under the ocean, all right? It was just the freaking Little Mermaid. Like, damn. Damn, like, presto fagelio. Like, I just turned you into a minnow. Now pick yourself up. Listen to that freaking inner voice. Have the confidence to have that brand new stop, my little fishies. Do you understand me? I love you guys. Three, 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 three. All right. So that's that. All right. Let's see what the 33, 33 is. Nothing you say, boy. 
That's the energies. Those are the lessons. Spiritual meaning of 3333. Three, three, Just pay attention to all the messages you're receiving. So that was from my Pisces, all right? <laughs> Amplified messages from your spirit guide. You guys are hearing. You're literally hearing. And you got the earth to pinnacle, all right? It's like you have ascended masters right now who have walked on this earth guiding you. That is like, that growth is, is no joke. That, that you are not the average Joe, my little Pisarians. You are not the average Joe. Do not be the average Joe. You are, you are freaking here in spirit right now. And you're like, you're like, eh, I'd rather just, you know, fix the hair and worry about what you're wearing or what you're driving. I, I don't know. I haven't seen that come up in a while. So it's a little disappointing, but. I know for a damn fact you're not the average Joe and you're going through a transformation. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that be. <laughs> All right. So those are the energies, those are the lessons that you should work with with each zodiac right now to, to push through this the scorpion moon and to and to get through the uh Tiridian sun. All right. And I say Tiridian because one day I said, uh what are my little Tiridians sitting in the Floridian sun? So now you're just like my little Tavidians. But <laughs> anywho, enjoy the energy. Those are some lessons. Those are some things that may help you get through the next few weeks. Okay? I love you guys. All right? And and know that everything's been happening the way it's, it's supposed to happen. And um, my most important message for all of you is to find your happy again. Okay? Find your happy. I love you guys.